Hi and welcome to the series on leadership. The first group of these leadership pointers are about leading through crisis. Our current pandemic is causing much impact in our nation and the world. As leaders, how do we lead through these unprecedented times? In this video, I will be looking at perspective. Craig Rochelle is a well-known and respected leader of a mega church in America and is now the main leader for the Global Leadership Summit that some of us have attended over the years. Well, back in March of this year, 2020, as the coronavirus was quickly spreading and country after country were in the beginning stages of lockdown, Craig, who delivers weekly podcasts, added a new podcast called Leading Through Crisis. After talking about the hardships and challenges of the pandemic, he gives his first point, have perspective. Give you a little bit of encouragement. So let's start with a little bit of perspective. Here's what we need to understand, is that this is a very real global crisis. Let's just call it what it is. It's a very, very real global crisis. But perspective, this is not the first crisis in the history of the world and it will not be the last. I wanna state very clearly, and I know that you know this deep down, but I wanna say it, I want us to feel it, that is, we will get through this. We will find some solutions, we will adapt, we will overcome, we will get through this. Now, will it be difficult? The answer is yes. It's already incredibly difficult for an incredibly high percentage of the population. Yes, it's gonna be difficult. Will things be different on the other side? I'm not sure. My answer is most likely yes. Things could be very, very different. But we have to remember that we will get through this. Now that we are several months on from March, where there was a lot of certainty, uncertainty back then, here in Queensland, the light at the end of the tunnel is somewhat brighter than it was. Having perspective through challenging times is important. Throughout my 35 years of leading local churches and serving on boards, I have experienced some difficult times that have stretched me as a person, even my faith. During these times, I've experienced somewhat anxiety as I've had little control of what the fallout will be. Because I believe in teamwork, I would share my feelings to either my staff or board or elders. With some of the experienced people speaking back into my life saying, hang in there, this will not last, we will move on. In other words, they were telling me to have perspective. Sure, things might be different after the crisis, but I will survive and I will move forwards. As leaders, Having perspective enables us to calm down and think more clearly than being filled with anxiety. It causes us to ask ourselves new questions. That is what perspective gives us. A new view, a new understanding, and perhaps new ideas. Leadership expert Kevin Alkenberry has written that the most self-aware leaders recognize that perspective is the most valuable Thing they bring to their role and that the best leaders, whether they would describe it this way or not, all use the power of perspective to be more effective and successful. In these unprecedented times where you may not know what the new normal will be for your group or for your team or whatever challenges that you might face, how do you gain perspective? One, seek God's perspective. James, the half-brother of Jesus, wrote a whole section on wisdom. And he wrote this in James 1, chapter 1, verse 5. It says, If you need wisdom, ask our generous God, and he will give it to you. So ask God for wisdom. Ask him to give you perspective. Two, have a good team around you, even if there's only two in your team. You see, people have different perspectives. Three, network with like-minded people. I network with pastors that have churches twice or three times the size of our church because 
they often give perspective of the issues or barriers that I'm facing. Because they have been where I am now, they are able to give another perspective about my challenges and, and how to overcome them. Who do you network with? Another pastor? Another administrator? Another playgroup leader? Perspective is a gift. So seek God's perspective. Have a good team around you and network with like-minded people. Thank you for watching.